magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Hallelujah. I said, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. God is great and greatly to be praised. Oh, we bless your name today, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We magnify you today, Lord. There is none that is like your God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Is anybody else glad to be in God's house this morning? Hallelujah. It's, you know, we just went through a period of time where we couldn't come into God's house and give him the praise, the honor, and glory. Let's do his name. So I just thank God that he's allowed us to once again come and join ourselves together with brothers and sisters and give him the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And how many know that the, there is a blessing in the midst of the gathering? That's where God deposits the blessing to his people in the midst of of the gathering. So I just thank God today for each and every one of you that are here today. I thank God for my being here today and we're going to give God some praise today. Amen. I can give him praise for me, but I can't give him praise for you. And how about this? If you don't give God his praise that he put in you, he'll never get it because only you can give God your praise. So we're going to bless him today. We're going to worship him today. And we're going to give God thanks for the mothers today. Amen. Amen. God is great. And a great God made some great mothers. He made some great women who, who nurture us and who teach us and who guide us. And we just thank God for them on today. So if you will stand with me right now, we're going to go before the Lord in a word of prayer. If you're not able to stand, that would be fine. But just let's... Let's go before the Lord in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you, God, for this day, Lord, that you've allowed us to see. God, we just thank you for putting strength in our limbs, oh God, so that we could walk out of our homes this morning, oh God, so that we could join ourselves together in your presence. And God, we just thank you for life, Lord. We thank you for the beauty of the, the day, God. Even though it may be a little cloudy outside, God, you still made us a day, God. And so we are grateful, Lord. We are thankful, God. And Lord, we just ask you now, God, to have your way in this service on today. God, we know we're honoring mothers today, God, but you get all the glory. God, because you made the mother, Lord. So we just give you all the praise today, God. Lord, we ask you right now to look upon the sick, Lord, those that would have a desire to be here but cannot make it, God. Touch them now, God, even right where they are, God. Touch them, Lord, from the crown of their heads to the sole of their feet, Lord. Let them know. God, that you are the healer, and they need only but believe, God, and you can heal them, oh God. So we just thank you right now, Lord, for your healing touch. God, we ask you to go into the nursing homes, Lord, go into the prisons, oh God. Go everywhere, Lord, that your people are, oh God. And God, give them a word, oh God. Send somebody in their direction, oh God. Oh Lord, even allow us, Lord, to reach out to those, God, who cannot come before your presence, oh God. And give them a word, oh God. Let them know that you love them, oh God, and that you will never leave them nor forsake them. So God, we just thank you today, God. We ask you, God, to look upon those families who have lost loved ones, God. Provide them, oh God, with that comfort, oh God, that only you can provide, oh God. And we just thank you right now, Lord, for restoring them, for refreshing them, oh God. Lord, and for giving them a hope, Lord, even in the midst of their loss, God. So we say thank you today, Lord. Thank you for every good and perfect gift, God, for we know it comes from you above. And now, Lord, we just ask you, God, if there's any sin in our lives, oh God, anything that may we able to that we may have even thought, oh God, that displeased you. God, we just ask you to forgive us right now, Lord. Clean us up, God. Restore unto us, oh God, the joy of our salvation, oh God. And don't take your Holy Spirit from us, oh God. Oh God, continue to allow him to rest, rule, and abide in our lives. And we say thank you, God. Thank you for cleansing us, God. Thank you for washing us, God. Thank you for making us new, God, so that we can lift up holy hands in your sanctuary this morning, God. We thank you and we praise you, God. We give you all the glory, Lord. Because you're worthy to be praised, God. No other God will be placed before you, God. You are worthy, God. You alone are worthy to be praised. Now, God, we ask you to have your way, God. Lord, let no flesh be glorified in this place today. You have your way in the midst of your people, oh God. Save souls, deliver those that may be in bondage, oh God. And Lord, we just thank you right now for every miracle that you're going to do in this service on this morning. We love you, God. We give you all the praise, the honor, and glory because you're worthy, God. And it's in Jesus' name, the name that is above 
above every name, the name whereby man can be saved in the name of Jesus, the matchless name, we pray and give you thanks. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I know we're a little bit out of order this morning, but I just want to lift this little song before the Lord. It says, oh, magnify the Lord, for he is worthy to be praised. Oh, magnify the Lord, he is worthy to be praised. Oh, for the human body in answer to believing prayer. 
We affirm our faith in the Holy Spirit. We believe that the baptism of the Holy Spirit, according to Acts 2 and 4, is given to believers who ask for it. We affirm our faith in sanctification. We believe in the sanctifying power of the Holy Spirit, by whose indwelling the Christian is enabled to live a holy and separated life in the present world. Amen. God for the church of God in Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. We know there are many other churches, but we belong to the church of God in Christ. And so we thank God for our affirmation of faith on today. Well, it's time for praise and testimony service. A time for us to share what God has done for us. A time for us to share perhaps um, our um, accolades for our mothers, and just whatever you would like to share this morning by way of praising the Lord. But we have come into this house to praise him. Amen. And we've come into this house to just be joyful in the things that God has done and how he has blessed us. So at this time, the praise and testimony service is open. If you would like to sing a song, share your testimony, now is the time to do so. Amen. Who will be the first? about 
men and women, the type of women men are looking, the type of women that men are looking for are certain qualities. And one of the things that I, 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 I value is I wanted someone that knew how to do stuff, that knew, you know, that, that, that was, uh, that wasn't just there to look pretty, although she, she does look pretty. <laughs> But someone that knew how to do other things because when it comes down to it, you know, not that her pretty will fade, but pretty changes over time. And you know, you have to have something else that kind of brings you together to complement one another. Like my dad was saying, my mom and him, they, they balance each other. It's like a yin and yang. And so um, I appreciate Shalanda and sometimes she has to talk me down uh, or even talk me into certain things. <laughs> Appreciate her, and, and, and the kids appreciate her, and I, and I just went over to her on a happy Mother's Day. Amen. I like to thank the Lord for being here this morning. I like, I thank Him for for His grace for waking me up this morning, yeah. getting me on my way. Yeah. Uh, I was one for His grace. I want to be here. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Uh, I like to just thank all the mothers. Happy Mother's Day. Yeah. Not just this day, May 8th, but on all days. Yeah. I thank God for Mother for all days. Amen. God, let me say, they nourish us, they teach us. And I, think, I got nothing to do with my mother, who she went home, she had went home, but I'm glad that she's in glory. Amen. Amen. And not man, Christ is great. Thank you. My mother, she appeared to me. She did. She did. Yes, she did. She tried to put that on us, on her children. Some of us listened, and some of us didn't. Yeah. You know, we were hard uh, Amen. Amen. But I'm glad I see. Let's see. I think about four of us, seven of us all together. I think four of us in church. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. Four of her children are in church. Wow. And fear the Lord. Amen. So, but I just like to say for all the women, I thank God for each and every last one of y'all. Because like that song, James Brown was singing the song once before. This is a man of the world. Or we be nothing. Or we be nothing. I used to tell, <laughs> so, I used to tell uh, back when, when I was out there in the world, I used to tell my friends, well, my associates, that man, if, if this world happened in whatever, if this world, if well, there is nothing but men on it and all the women left, I don't know what I would do. <laughs> I got to find somewhere uh, uh, out on my own or something. But <laughs> so anyway, I can thank God for all the women that God feels with me. Even though we have not yet found the Lord. I thank God for you all too. Everyone. Amen. 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 You all just con continue to keep me in your prayers and I continue to have it all in my Amen. Amen. Well, I want to say happy Mother's Day to all of you. And um, I thank God for having me come to church this morning. It was hard to get out of bed. It's the first one to stay without my grandma. And it was hard, but I thank God for allowing me to come here. And also thank God for my mom and her raising me and my little sister. I know that's hard because we don't always get along. Sometimes we argue and sometimes we don't always treat my mom the best. But still, she tries her hardest to do anything for us. And I know today going to be hard for her. With my grandma, without my grandma here, and I'm just like prayer for all that. And thank you for all of you for allowing me to come here and for allowing this to be my church home. Amen. Amen. Well, back you guys. <laughs> Sorry, it took so long. Just going to the only thing I really want to do is just work, 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 work. work. But I haven't forgot each and every one of you guys. I think about y'all and my friends, and I miss you guys. And I'm glad to be back home. And I want to say Happy Mother's Day. And my mother is great. 
I'm taking my mother to South Hayden next Saturday for, to see my granddaddy. Um, I had received her since she was nine years old, so we were looking forward to going to the trip. And my mom, she more excited than me, but I guess that's just a question. I just want to have a mother that I love my church. Amen. Amen.
Everybody called me, they always call her Mother B, Mama B. You go to the morning right now and the kids that were growing up during that time, they would play to that mama. And I praise God for that. You don't get a good one all the time. I had three stacks that had been a good mother, two good wives, and that somewhere I didn't strike out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Uh, I'd like to thank God for my mom. She birthed me. Um, she, uh, she's, uh, she's always been a good mom. For the most part, I, met, I mean, there are times where, you know, as, as a kid, you never always liked everything she said, but for the most part, it kind of sits with you in your pocket, and one day when you have to pull out that notch, you're like, it makes sense. Um, and, that, and that's the kind of mom I had. There are times now where uh, I call her about information, uh, advice, and things like that. Probably 99.9% .9 of the time, it's pretty good advice. <laughs> um, and I, you know, I also thank God for my grandmothers. I have one out there, another one in here. Uh, uh, my nanny, she's a woman of very few words, but the, the words that she does say is very impactful, very um, wise. And, and I, I, I always try to perk my ears up whenever she has that piece of advice, because like I said, it, it may not always be um, as often, but the, the few gems she does drop, they're very, uh, very much appreciated, and my other grandmother, she's my, I call her my road dog, I'm, I'm the one that takes her up and down the highway, and uh, we have very fun experiences, and, um, again, another one, she, she, she talks, she talks, she, she talks more, and, but she does provide the same good advice here and there as, as she's talking to me, and, and sometimes depending if I want to take it, I'm like, fine, I'll take it, or again, put it away until I need it, like, okay, it makes sense. And then, you know, I'm also thankful for my Aunt Sam. She's, she's always, when I tell you this, if you want somebody in your corner, make sure you're doing right, and you have a great ally in my Aunt Sam. She's, <laughs> I'm just saying, she's, she's, she, she's, she's the one to call for those, those major, major things, and she's there for you. And then last but not least, I'd like to have to say Happy Mother's Day to my wife. Um, mm -hmm. She's a, she's a good mom. I've seen her, um, you know, with Zion for what, how old are you? Nine years. Nine years I've seen her with Zion. And when I tell you this kid, he goes to the school with the best, you know, Valentine's Day t shirts, Valentine's. She's always crafting things for him and making sure he's, he's, he's tight with whatever he needs. And also, she always is the one that gives good knowledge to him and, um, with different situations at school. Because school nowadays is different. Um, kids today, they know far more than than what they should know at his age and sometimes you hear things hear things here and there that he says like wait where'd you get that from <laughs> you know and we're not necessarily upset but you know uh, Desiree does a good job um, instilling in him what what needs to be uh, instilled to say hey this is why this and that you can't say this or do this and you know those those practical things so um, again, I'd like to say happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers and to all those who are mother figures. To all the mothers. And, um, I just want us again to wish you all a happy Mother's Day, a special Mother's Day for my mom, who I think that of her um, every day. Um, you know, uh, there's a lot that can be said, and there, there's a lot that has been said about mothers. But um, each of us have our own, our own way of mothering. And, and my mother had, she, she knew just what to do for it. Uh, during the way uh, as we were growing up. And for that, I'm thankful because as I have become a mother, and I don't know, I don't know if I've said this for the last 45 years, <laughs> but I love being a mother, and I attribute that to um, how 
how we were raised. Amen. And, Amen. Um, and I, I take my own spin on motherhood. Um, I said a lot of things that my mom did for us, and um, and then did a lot, of, and have done a lot of things that I've done on my, on my own. So God knew what He was doing when He created moms, because it takes a special, it takes special people to be moms, and I believe each and every one of you are special in your own right. Um, where we can see the fruit of our labor. I think that's a blessing. Um, but um, I don't want to prolong the, my time, um, but um, I, I love my mom dearly. My dad equally as um, much. But mom was always, mom was always right there. <laughs> she, she was, dad was working, mom, mom, mom worked, but it seemed like she was always there. That I'm thankful, and I just hope that each of each and every one of you had a wonderful day today. Not just today, because motherhood is more than just today. Um, so I hope you enjoy this day and enjoy um, and enjoy your time. But for those of you who are without your mom um, this year, I, I think on that too, and I think. That if I were going to give you words of encouragement, I would say, you know, remember the good times. Remember those stories about your mom. I listened to Deacon Thomas. I listened to my dad um, talk about their mom. It, it, it can't, I can't be in your shoes. I can't say I know how you feel, but I know this. When you have good memories, they're right here with you always. So mm -hmm. I ask you to pray for me. Um, and and I, I want to say about uh, uh, my daughter being a mom, you know, I love watching these young moms being a mom, too. <laughs> I, I, just, I, just, uh, I just love watching what they do and how they do it. And I just want to encourage you to, to continue on that path because our children are our future. Our future, and, and they will be um, reflective of you. So. Is there anyone else would like to share? Well, I take this opportunity to say Happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers and mother figures um, in the house today. I give honor to God for my mother. But truly, she was a strong woman. She is a strong woman because she's still, um, still down in Georgia. And uh, she comes on to Sunday school every um, Sunday morning when we have Sunday school. And I just thank God that every now and then she'll drop us a nugget. And, you know, the saints, they enjoy that. But I've been getting those nuggets all my life. And I know <laughs> Mama can drop some nuggets. And they, they encourage her to talk. But I, I, I let them know, you know, let mama say just a little bit because mama can go. Mama would talk, 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 talk. And so I just thank God for my mother. I thank God for the things that she instilled in me. I thank God for her taking me to church because um, so many of, um, of, of other people that were around when my brother and I were young didn't have that same opportunity. They didn't have to go to church. And sometimes we had to go and we didn't want to go. But I thank God that mother, my mother took us anyway and made us go because now I love to go to church. And I just thank God that that's always been a part of my life. And you know, I hear about people that, um, that have never been in a church or that don't know who Jesus is. And I just can't imagine a life without knowing who Jesus is because that was something that my mother made sure that I was introduced to at a very young age. And so I just thank God for my mother, I thank God for how he's blessed her all these years. She just turned 84 years old on May 5th. And so I just uh, thank God for her. And I just thank God for the next opportunity that I'll get to go and visit my mother. Um, COVID has kind of hampered our visiting, but very, very soon I'll get to go and visit my mother. And so I just thank God for her. So is there anyone else here today who would like to have words or a praise report or a song or any type of tribute to their mother, just anything else anyone would have to say. 
Well, praise the Lord. Thank God for the testimonies. For truly, without a mother, there would not be too much. And God knew when he created man that man needed help. And not only does a husband need help, but sons need help. Brothers need help. Any man needs a little help. And that's what mothers do best is help. Help, they nurture, they guide, they direct, they teach. And so we just thank God for mothers on today. And so without any further ado, we're going to have our assistant church mother. She is going to come and give us our welcome. If you don't feel welcome already, Mother Griffith is going to come and share welcome with us. We're going to have a selection by the Mount Olive Angelic Choir.
a word from the Lord on today. And so at this time, I'm going to ask Sister Emily Royals if she would prepare to come and to introduce our speaker, as well as minister to us in the sermonic selection. So at this time, please receive Sister Emily Broyles. things that she'll say and then you'll look at her and you'll see the little smile <laughs> it's not a it's just a, a little grin she knows she said something but <laughs> but it's just so funny to watch those moments but also to watch her interaction with others outside of our family and see how she has extended herself and shown love to others been a mother figure to others been a friend to others a confidant to others and it's just and I guess that's one of the things that comes with being a mother and how you become a church mother um, in that regard and just that ability to you know extend yourself she's not loud she's not one who makes a lot of noise I think sometimes we think that that's what makes a person um, more godly or more um, able to be received but sometimes it's that quiet that we sometimes need in our lives and just glad to be here to introduce her to you all. I don't think I'm not introduced, pre present her to you all. I don't think I'm introducing her to anybody here today. Um, but, and I guess I'm, and I got wrangled into a Samaritan selection, so that's why I'm double dutying here. So, all right. I don't know about tomorrow, but I just live from day to day, and I don't borrow from its sunshine for its sky. May turn to gray, and I don't worry about my future, for I know what Jesus said, and today. Turn to gray 
Son's name. Amen. 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 You may be seated. And at this time, I'm just going to, it's not a whole lot, but I'm, I'm just going to try to say a, a, a few words. And we're going to talk about, uh, who else? Who do you think I'm going to talk about? We're going to talk about mother. We're going to talk about mother today. And um, a, mother is a, a mother is a special person. She is a special person. I didn't, and I, I promised my mother, who has been gone for a long time, that I wasn't going to cry. I wasn't going to get up here and cry. She wouldn't like that. But I, I, I just want to be able to say something that well, somebody will be able to take out, but as I'm going to say, I only kept my mom for 10 years, but in those 10 years, I was only 10 years old when she, she left, mm. but she left me with a lot of wonderful thoughts and a lot of, I, I, I can remember so many wonderful things. You might think, how can you remember so much and only 10 years old? But I can remember so many wonderful things about my mom. I, I don't I don't remember anything really bad about her, but one thing she did do that stands out in my mind. You know, I don't know about down here, but they used to always would say, if it rains, and I think I had, and anyway, they said the devil was beating his wife. You could put a, you're right, your son, you could put it and 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 you take this can, you go out and put a, uh, a pen in the ground, and you could hear what the devil was saying to his wife. So I did that. I went out and put a can out there in the, on the ground and stuck it in there, and the devil was talking pretty bad to his wife. <laughs> Beating up on her, I went back, and I told her all, I was telling all of them all these bad things and words <laughs> that the devil was calling his wife. <laughs> And I got, I, I got in trouble for that. I said, well, well, mama, that's what the yeah. devil was saying. <laughs> you don't always say what the devil said. <laughs> the devil got me in trouble. So, but I just was doing what I was told that, that I would hear. And, and I thought I heard the devil saying some pretty awful things to the boy. But anyhow, I, I, didn't, I didn't go out and try to hear the devil talk to his wife and see what he was beating up on his wife about. But anyways, I'm hoping, and it won't be long that I'll be here before you. Oh, good. Uh, hopefully, I can say something that somebody may pick up on a few nuggets and can take out with them and, and use them. And uh, again, I, I thank my husband for his assistance in, in helping me to... I won't take all the uh, I won't take all the uh, credit for putting this together. Uh, I, I did ask his assistance, and he gave me a little bit. <laughs> but, but and I, I appreciate that too. And I, I would just like to say that I do give honor to uh, to the pastor and his wife, Elder uh, Evangelist Boone, and to our assistant pastor, which is my husband. Uh, uh, brother uh, Ella Los Angeles Brawls, and to our assistant church mother, uh, Mother Sandra Griffith, I uh, give honor to the deacons, to the music department, and to everyone that is present today. And I just like to report that I am yet saved, sanctified, and yet have the Holy Spirit within my soul. And I, I just thank God. I just thank God for being with me. I don't know how anyone can make it without the Lord in their lives. It, it would just, to me, I, I just don't know how I could go from day to day without having him in my life. And the Lord brought to my spirit to talk about some of the mothers in the Bible and other women. I did not, I did not ask my husband to help me find some mothers of the Bible, but I told him to find some mothers listed in the Bible I think he knew not to refuse me, and I, I, I'm thankful that he did. And the not the Lord led me to use mother as an acronym, and I will be addressing other mothers of the Bible 
for the letter O, I also will name the scripture for each of these women. And just pre please pray for me. I just want to remind you, Mother's Day is an annual day in which we commemorate and celebrate Mother's Day and motherhood, and it is observed on the second Sunday in May. What is a mother? What is a mother? Think about that. A mother is a female that has given birth to an offspring that is a bio, that is a biological mother, female. Amen. I chose Mary, the mother of Jesus, however, in the New Testament, named six women with the name Mary. In the book of St. Luke's 1 and 31, you will see where the angel Gabriel told Mary, she mm -hmm. shall conceive in her womb mm -hmm. and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. Mary did conceive as a virgin through the mysterious power of the Holy Ghost. Mary gave an earthly birth of Jesus, and Jesus was not just a mere man, but he was a human, and he was human and divine, the only begotten Son of God. There is much more that I could, could be said about Mary, but I must move on at this point. During my search for women of the Bible, that was a mother and whose name began with O, I could not find. So I substituted other important women of the Bible. Mm -hmm. I'm going to name a few women under the letter O. Abai was the mother of King Hezekiah. He was 25 years old when he began to reign and he regained, and he reigned for 29 years. He was considered to be one of the most perfect kings of Judea, Judah. Bathsheba was the wife of Uriah, the Hittite, and she was attractive to King David with her unusual beauty. So after Uriah was killed in a battle organized or planned by King David, then David took her to be his wife. And she bore a son, and she was the mother of Solomon, who later became king of Judah. Solomon was the wisest, the richest of all kings of Israel. And during the 40-year reign, the great temple was built because God would not allow his father David to build and that was because David had too much blood on his hand. Mm -hmm. And you could find that in 1 Kings 1 and 11, 1 Kings 10, 45, 5, 4, 5, and 21, 23, and 25, and also in 2 Samuel 12 and 24. Elizabeth was the mother of John the Baptist, and she was also a relative of Mary the mother of Jesus, our Savior, and Son of God. St. Luke's 1, uh, 11, and 13 and 36, she was the wife of the priest Zechariah, and they both were righteous before God, but they had no children because Elizabeth was barren and was not, and I'm sorry, and Elizabeth was barren and both Elizabeth was barren, and they both were now stricken in years. Mm -hmm. And you can find that in St. Luke's 1, chapter, uh, first chapter, 6 and 7 verse. Look at God one more time. He performed a miracle, and Elizabeth conceived. And the child John was the front runner of the Messiah. Mm -hmm. There are so many women that are mentioned in the Bible that were mothers and have made many great contributions to God's plans. But there is not enough time for me to include all this mentioned at this time. As for the letter T, there are many women that
that were mothers, but the scripture in King James Bible do not mention them by name that began with the letter T. So I will just mention a few of them as the other notable women, which are mothers. There was a Jewish woman by the name of Drusilla. She was the daughter of Herod Agrippa. She was a beautiful girl, and she was sister to Bernice. Drusilla married a man by the name of Felix, who was the governor of Judea. And when the Apostle Paul was in prison, Drusilla came with her husband Felix to hear Paul's reasoning about righteousness, self-control, and the faith in Christ. And that can be found in Acts 24, 24 and 25 verses. Drusilla's son was called Agrippa, and Agrippa now will be will find in and Agrippa now you will find in the book of Second Timothy, the first chapter and second verse, where the Apostle Paul was addressing Timothy as my beloved son, mm -hmm. and called his remembrance the unfriend's faith that is in Timothy. I'm sorry. And is called his and called to his remembrance the unfeigned faith that is in Timothy that was dwelt first in the grandmother Lois and his mother Eunice. Then Paul said, "I am persuaded that is in thee also." That's in Second Timothy one and five. And I thank you. I hopefully have given you enough that of this information that uh, about notable women for the letter T. I'll go on to H. For the letter H, I will take up, I'll talk about the woman by the name of Hannah. Mm -hmm. She was a godly woman and she was, a, she was barren, meaning that she was unable to bear children. And she suffered ridicule from the other wife of her husband because she bore several children. So Hannah vowed that if she was to give birth to a son, she would just devote him to the service of the Lord. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, the Lord heard Hannah's prayer and he answered her prayers. And to her was a son born, the prophet, Samuel, when you make a vow or a promise to the Lord, you should keep it. Amen. The vow we make. Whenever we make a vow to the Lord, we should try and keep that promise. Mm -hmm. So, Hannah was faithful to her promise. I can imagine it must to have been a heart-rending sacrifice mm -hmm. for Hannah to take Samuel to the temple after he was winged, the, uh, after he was winged, there to remain forever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God rewarded Hannah's, faithful, Hannah's faithfulness with, the more, with more sons and two daughters. You'll find that in, in uh, 1 Samuel 1 and 2. E, for the, uh, for the letter E, I will talk about Eve because she was the first woman and Adam, the first man, gave her the name Eve. Eve meant the mother of all living. God performed the first surgery by causing a deep sleep to come up on Adam. And God removed one rib from Adam and closed up the flesh and God made woman. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to Genesis, the second chapter, 21st and 23rd verse. The Bible says that Eve, under satanic influence, ate of the forbidden fruit mm -hmm. and persuaded Adam to do the same. Because of this obedience to God's command, sin entered into the world. God told Eve he would greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception in sorrow. Thy, 
shall bring forth children. So Eve was the mother of Cain, Abel, Abel, Seth, and many sons and daughters. And you'll find that in Genesis, third chapter, first through 24, fourth chapter, first and fourth chapter, first verse and five and three. Lastly, for the letter R, I will talk about a woman by the name of Rahab. She was, she was from Jericho. Mm -hmm. Rahab's house was on the city wall of Jericho. She manufactured and dyed linen, and she was a harlot, and also known as a prostitute. We do not know and understand the working of the Lord. We really don't. We, we, a lot of times, I think, sometimes we know all that he did, but we don't really know it all. She became an ancestor of Jesus. Can you imagine how a thing, uh, how a thing can happen like that? Joshua was sent two spies to Jericho to explore the city. Mm -hmm. To explore this, Joshua sent two spies to explore the city. The king of Jericho sent his messenger to Rahab's house, looking for the Hebrew spies. Rahab secretly housed the two spies by hiding them in, a, in stalks mm -hmm. of flax on her rooftop that you'll find in Joshua of 2 and 6. She sent the king's messenger on a false trail, and then she let the two spies down the outside wall by a, a scarlet uh, card. Mm -hmm. Women can do some Amen. funny things, can't we? Amen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> some things you sometimes might not even expect. And during this time, Rahab told the spies how she had heard their God had dried up the water of the Red Sea and the great things God had done, and she believed. So she spoke these words. The Lord your God, he is God in heaven above and in the earth beneath. Because of the kindness she has shown the spies, she wanted a favor of kindness to be shown to her. And she wanted to, she wanted a true token from them that they would save her father, mother, brethren, sisters, and all that they have mm -hmm. and delivered their lives from death. And the, and the spies said, we will deal kindly, truly with thee. You'll find that would be found in Joshua, second chapter, 12 through 17 verse. And finally, the spies said, Behold, when we come into the land, thou shalt bind this line of scarlet thread in the window in which thou didst let down by. And thou shalt bring thy father, mother, brethren, and all thy father's household home unto thee. My eyes are clouding up. Going down to Joshua, you will find the genealogy of Jesus by Matthew. You see Solomon begat Boaz and Rahab. This just goes on to show God's grace is extended to all sinners and confess, believed, and repent. God's love is wonderful. And in my closing, I just want to say that there's some accolades to the mothers and, 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 and what motherhood should be about. And I was, this I'll say, every human that has ever been born has come into this world that has come into this world is by the way of the womb of a woman. Amen. Every, even our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, for a fact, was conceived by the Holy Ghost, but came into the world miraculously by the womb of a virgin named Mary. Amen. 
There are, there are just only two people, as I know of, that have searched the scriptures that have come into the world other than by the way of the womb. And, I mean, by the womb, and it was Adam and Eve, yeah. as I have stated earlier. Mothers, God has said in the scripture that he created them male and female. He blessed them and God also told them to be fruitful and to multiply and replenish the earth. And you will find that written in the book of Genesis in the second chapter. And the verses would be 27 and 28. And we know becoming a mother while giving birth is painful. And if you've had children mothers, you know that. And sometimes it can be dangerous and yet joyful at the end. And mothers, you can rest assured that out of the womb of mothers, all great men and women and all the greatest accomplishments and defeats of all times, whether it was a woman or a man, some mother's womb bought them into the world. And I pray something has been said today that will encourage our mothers to be obedient mm -hmm. to the word of God concerning our duties and maybe inspire other mothers to become mothers and to enjoy the fruits of her labor. I don't know, do we have any ladies out there who would like to become mothers looking around and see all these babies and how they're loved and it's, it's so wonderful thing to raise children. I only had two. I thought I wanted four, but God saw fit and gave me only two. And I, I thank God for, for those two. And maybe the other ones would not have turned out. I'm not saying that those two that I had turned out perfect, but maybe you could give me the one, other ones that I wanted. Things might, may not have all turned out as well. Sometimes we ask for things that we don't always know what we're asking for. We ask for things that sometimes cause us heartache and, 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 and sadness in life. But we know that whatever God does, he does it for our good. So I'm, I'm not gonna stand here much longer and say a whole lot more. This is not my, this is my, my thing. I'm, I'm not one to want to stand up and do a lot of talking and teaching and preaching. I don't consider myself as that. But it's, it's always a blessing to be able to get up and say something for the Lord. And if you can't do that, then you're, not, you're not a child of God if you can't say something good about the Lord. So I, I'm not going to prolong this any longer that I would just like for uh, Brother DJ to play my little bit of my song. Mm -hmm. I don't know, my Andre Crouch. I've had many tears. Yeah.
mothers that have nurtured and that have uh, made wise decisions, truly, we can do the same today. And many of us here have had the same, have had the same experiences that God has graced us and that God has given us wisdom in the time that we needed it and allowed us to be the mothers that God has called us to be. At this time, we're going to turn the rest of this uh, service over into the hands of the pulpit for remarks, and then we'll have final remarks and benediction from our mother's board. Amen. We truly thank God for this Mother Day. Thank God for the mothers. Truly thank God for each and every one that's here today. And Mother Roy said something that's very key in this day and hour. With all that's going on in the world, she quoted something out of Genesis that's so important. Because God told Adam and Eve after he had made them, he said, be fruitful and to multiply. Then she iterated what a mother is. A man can't be a mother. I don't care what this world said. A man can't be a mother. A mother is someone who has born a child or an offspring that has to come through a woman's canal. Can't come no other way. And she reiterated that even Jesus Christ had to come through the birth canal of a woman. We got to get this thing right in this day and hour. We see too much go on and the world want us to accept it. When God has plainly told us what a mother is. And we thank God for mothers. Because whether you're great, I don't care what you accomplish in this life. You came here through a woman. And I thank God for those words, amen. And I'm not going to prolong the service because I know I'm probably the, you know, the little bit that's standing before you in this great Mother's Day meal. But before we go, amen, I want to give out some love tokens. And I thank God for the women and the mothers that allowed me to participate in this portion of our service. And this year, I'm not going to be long before you. Amen. But I truly want to be a blessing to our church mothers. Amen. Be a blessing to our church mothers. And you know your pastor, he loved a big old T-bone steak. So whatever I have given you, it's enough for you to have a T-bone steak and then to have something else. Amen. So, and it's not just me. This is for me and Evangelist Boom. And not only that, this year I wanted to take some time. I normally give you a gift card, but God laid on my heart this year to also enclose a card, something that's special to me. Maybe those words, amen, you can reflect from that card and know that it's from my heart, amen, that it's from my heart. And I thank God for each of our mothers on the mother's board, amen. So the church also, Mount Island Church of God in Christ, all of us in here, amen, we are going to give our mothers, amen, on the mother board, a love token. So with that, amen, the first one, amen, that I have, amen, I will walk around and put, oh, okay, I can have Evangelist Boom since she got her face, man, so, amen, Evangelist Boom, this is for Mother Bros. And we thank God for our church mother, amen, thank God for the word that she brought, amen. She's not loud like I am, amen, but she brought forth the word, amen, and I thank God for it. That's why I was sister church mother, Mother Griffin. Mother Charlotte Mayfield. was a 
perform a soldier so she can run. She know how to double time. <laughs> Then we have Mother Hester. I'm almost done, almost done. Amen. Then we have this mother that's been coming out visiting with us for some time, amen, and I just wanted to be a blessing to her and to encourage her, amen, and that's Sister Linnea Ivy. And then I have three other gift cards, amen, that I'm going Lord, I touched my heart this morning and I didn't see him here. But early this year, amen, God decided to call their mother home. And I wanted to encourage them and thank, thank God for them. And thank God that the promise that they made to their mother, they have been doing it and they've been faithful. And that's to all three of Mother Rush's daughters. Amen. So if you would give this amen to Sister Yolanda, and she would give it to her sisters, amen, Sister Miranda and Sister Jackie, amen. But I wanted to encourage them because this would be the first mother day that they will be without their mother, amen. Someone that's dear and served here many years here with us, amen, and I wanted them to know, amen, I hadn't forgotten Mother Rush, amen, so y'all be encouraged, and I truly thank God, amen, and the last one that I have, amen, is a special gift, amen, and a special gift to someone who's special to me, amen, and you know, I truly thank God for my mother, I thought I would be down south, amen, but God seemed fit for me to be here, and I thank God for it, amen. But I wanted to encourage her, amen, because this year has been difficult, amen. And I wanted to encourage her and to let her know that I love her, amen, and that she's doing a great job. And just continue to trust in God. Continue to trust in God and continue to be the person that you are. And that's the love of my life, Evangelist Foley. And even as I give you this card, whatever's in here, you have to share it with me now. <laughs> Amen. I truly thank God for all of the mothers out here. Amen. And at this time, as I said, I would not delay the service. Amen. We're going to ask our church mother if she would come back and have the final words and close the service out this morning. But once again, all the mothers, happy Mother's Day, and please go and enjoy this day. And I thank God for setting aside a day that we can honor you, amen, that we can honor our mothers. Mother Broads, we back in your hand.
me up and, and cared for me and you you can make it. it it's rough when you when you lose your mother and it, it's it's very rough but god knows he knows all about it he brought us into this world and you know what he's going to take us out and he's not he's not going to put any more on us than we can bear that sounds out right sometimes but i believe that he's not going to put any more on us than we can bear so to each of you go out and enjoy yourself and and have dinner and give the person next to you the bill <laughs> Yeah. So we're now going to stand in.